Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about whether living in a condo in the Philippines is a good idea. What's up, Mike here. Um, hope everybody's doing well. It's been a while since I made a video. I know that, but you know, I've been in the Philippines about um, you know over ten months now. Uh, I moved here April the first of twenty twenty one, and you know it's February twenty third, so almost a year going up on a year that I've been living in this condo. So I decided, you know what, I should make a video about uh, living in a condo, and you know whether it's a good idea. Um, because I know a lot of people come to the Philippines. Uh, a lot of people think about living in a condo like the one that I'm in here. Um, and a lot of people think about buying condos. Um, so I wanted to give my viewpoint. You know, this is my experience of living here in a condo for almost a year uh, in the Philippines to, you know, let you guys uh, make your own decision but, uh, based on um, what I say. Um, and of course, you, you know, make your own decision. You know, what I say is, again, my viewpoint is my experience here, what I've experienced, what I think. Um, anyway, let's get into it. I have uh, five good and five bad things about living in a condo here in the Philippines. Um, first of all, I want to talk about, you know, location. We'll, we'll go through the good points first. Uh, later, I'll talk about the bad points. So yeah, good points, location. You know, it, if you're in a condo, um, really, it doesn't matter where it is. Uh, it's always going to be in a desirable location. Um, so what I mean by that, like, you know, things are, if you're in a condo, things are always going to be within, you know, minutes, uh, walking distance, um, you know. And if you're a beach person like me, you know, and you get a condo, then you can walk uh, to the beach within minutes. Um, I can walk to, you know, Mac to Newtown Beach here within probably 10 minutes. Um, everything is within walking distance. There's two 7-Elevens. There's, you know, many restaurants. Um, there is, you know, Filipino restaurants like Chibi Chibi. There's a Japanese restaurant uh, that has sushi. There's a chicken and beer restaurant. Um, you know, there's uh, Alfresco's, which has all kinds of stuff. Anyway, all kinds of restaurants. There's a grocery store within walking distance. Um, and so, you know, living in a condo is, you know, the good point is, you know, everything's within walking distance. You, you don't have to go far. You know, you don't have to take a taxi to go get groceries or anything. Um, so, yeah, that's one good point. Um, now, the second good point I had about living in a condo is um, you have full access to, you know, the best amenities. Um, so, you know, like living in a condo, you know, here and where I am uh, and in many condos uh, it provides you access to amenities that you might have to pay for otherwise and um, for example here um, my condo offers a gym uh, I don't have to pay for gym membership there's a swimming pool usually in the Philippines if you want to go swimming you have to pay a fee um, you know there's a daycare center for children um, you don't have to pay anything for that um, there's a children's playground where kids can play. You don't have to pay for that. And, you know, it even has a game room with a pool table. So you don't have to pay for billiards or anything like that. Um, you do, you know, that's all absolutely free. Um, it also has a function room for parties uh, and a business room, meeting room that you could rent out. Now, that is paid for, but it's available. Um, and so most of that stuff um, is free. And so, you know, I think that's a really good thing about living in a condo. Um, now, the third thing I wanted to talk about is maintenance. You know, if something goes wrong, um, you don't really have to, you know, wait on your landlord to come. You can call down to the concierge and you can ask maintenance to come up and look at it. And they might be able to fix it really quickly for you. Um, of course, you know, unless they, they have to get a part or something, but... Uh, it's always available, which is uh, good. So I think that's a good point about living in a condo. Um, and, you know, if you have a generator, uh, here has a backup generator if electricity goes out or something. Um, and, you know, maintenance is always there. So that's a good point. Um, and a community. 
Um, you know, people that live in a condo, um, they often, you know, if they live here a while, uh, foreigners, you know, they like to talk to each other and they can give you tips about, you know, best places to eat or shop or, you know, other things or in general about living in the Philippines. So it does provide um, social interaction and, you know, it makes you feel connected, you know, and whether that be in the gym or I'm, when I'm talking to somebody we're at the swimming pool when I go swimming. You know, there's usually foreigners there. Um, you know, even in the child care center, you know, some people have children and they take them there to play or whatever, read books. And so I've been in the child care center and struck up a conversation, you know, with foreigners in the child care center even. So there is that sense of community and social interaction, which you probably wouldn't have if you was like living in, a, living in an apartment somewhere by yourself uh, in the Philippines. Um, and that brings me to my fifth point. So we've talked about location, um, amenities, maintenance, community. And the last one, as far as good points goes, I want to talk about is security. Um, now, condos, you know, they have a front desk and a concierge. And um, so the security gives you a peace of mind. Um, if somebody comes in that, you know, doesn't have a key and they don't know should be here, you know, they're there. there there's uh, security guards outside also for the parking and, you know, at the door. Um, and if, the get, if you have a guest, they have to sign in. Um, you have to check them in, put down their names, um, you know, wh whatever. Um, so there's a really good, you know, there's really good security and it makes you feel um, safe. safe. Um, and, you know, also with the security and the concierge is, you know, whenever you leave, they always say, hello, sir. Uh, whenever you come back from somewhere, they always say, hello, sir. Um, so, you know, it makes you feel welcome. It makes you feel, you know, like this is your home whenever you're leaving or coming back to it. And, you know, the other good things about, you know, the concierge and security is you can always ask them questions. It's kind of like a hotel. Um, they can give you suggestions about different topics uh, or they can give you um, advice about something. So anyway, those are the five good points I wanted to address in this video. And now let's move on to the five, uh, five, the five uh, bad points. First of all, uh, and the number one bad point that crosses my mind is the cost. Um, so obviously living in a condo is going to cost a lot more than, you know, renting somewhere. I probably pay two or three or more times um, that somebody pays compared to the, you know, if they're living in an apartment somewhere in Cebu. Um, you know, utilities like you know, the water are, are built directly by the condo. And so I, I pay about uh, one and a half or two times more than a normal person would. Uh, you know, living or renting someplace uh, in Cebu or Mandawi. And I think I also spend more on electricity than I probably normally would because, you know, the air conditioners being in the living room, also in the bedroom, and we run them all the time um, now. Um, so I think uh, that's probably uh, related to the cost and probably costs more living here in the condo. Um, and so... You know, cost is probably the number one, you know, bad point about living in a condo. If you want to call it a bad point, it's going to cost you a lot more to live in a condo than it would, you know, just renting someplace um, in, in some subdivision or in Cebu City um, compared to, you know, living in a condo here in Macton, which is close to the beach. Second bad point. Um, now, I mentioned this before, actually, is a good point, location. Um, you know, I mentioned that, you know, by location... Um, everything's within walking distance, uh, and that's true. But for me personally, you know, living in a condo near the beach means, you know, it's far away from Cebu City. It's uh, far away from Mandawi. It's far away from, like, the center of Cebu. And so I can't really get a lot of things delivered here that I could get, you know, if I was in Cebu or Mandawi, uh, especially, you know, things like restaurants and, you know, just off the top of my head. Um, I know in Cebu they have like Pizza Hut, and so if I wanted to, you know, have Pizza Hut delivered um, to my apartment or somewhere in, that's near uh, Cebu, um, I could um, buy Grab or, you know, Food Panda or something. Um, you know, 
KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Um, I can get Jollibee here, of course, but, you know, if I wanted KFC, I can't get it. Um, I could get that if I was in Cebu. It's just from Cebu, you have to cross the bridge through Mandawi and then over here to Mactan, the island. And so it's just too far for them to, to deliver, I guess. And so, you know, there's, there's a lot of things that you, you can't just get delivered here because you, they won't deliver it. Um, so, you know, that's, that's you know, a bad thing about the location. Um, so the third thing I want to talk about that's kind of a bad point, but I mentioned also as a good point with having all the amenities like the swimming pool and the gym and the game room is, you know, technically I, I can use the gym or the swimming pool or the game room anytime I want, but I don't. <laughs> I, I, I usually, you know, I only use the swimming pool uh, or like the gym or the game room when, you know, friends or family comes over to visit. Um, I rarely go to the gym because, uh, you know, I work online teaching English during the day. Um, and then I do trade stocks at night. So, you know, I'm, I'm rather busy. Now, if, if you were, you know, retired and had the time, then, yeah, I guess, yeah, you know, the swimming pool, uh, gym, and everything would be a good point. But, you know, I feel like I'm paying here for that stuff. That's, you know, that's probably one of the reasons why the rent is higher than, a, you know, a normal apartment would be. But I'm not actually using that stuff. And so for me, it's kind of a bad point and, you know, maybe a bad point for you too. You think, you know, you might come and think, oh, that's great. And then you hardly ever use it. Uh, and so, you know, it could turn into a bad point or you, you may feel like you're, you're wasting money or whatever. So that's why I bring it up. Um, and so the community, I talked about the community where you can interact with other people living here. Um, you know, my girlfriend made friends with um, uh, a Filipino that was living with a foreigner here, and I talked to him too. I talked to other foreigners, uh, like I said, at the gym, in the elevator, uh, other places, in the daycare center I talked. Um, but those can be short-lived. Um, you know, you don't know how long somebody's going to stay, um, so you don't know if they're renting here, uh, if they bought the condo and living here permanently. Um, it could, they could be short lived, like, uh, her friend, um, they moved out because they had some problem with the condo. Um, and so, you know, the, the community is a good thing, but I mean, they can be short lived. Um, you just don't know like how long somebody's going to be here. Um, so even if you like make friends and stuff, they could be like really, um, short lived. Um, also as far as community goes and people. Uh, condos are rented out a lot to Airbnb people and originally I was an Airbnb person um, originally I planned on staying here only for a month and then you know trying someplace else and so why I mentioned that as a bad point is uh, you never know you know who your neighbor might be and you know so it could be an Airbnb person you know that it's coming in um, just for the weekend maybe they just it could be, you know, a bunch, you know, Filipinos or Chinese or Koreans or, you know, some other uh, citizenships, you know, who knows. And they bring a lot of people, you know, just for the you know, just for the weekend or a day or two. And, you know, it's like a kind of like a hotel. Um, and so they, they have a really good time. But, you know, when you're living here and working uh, during the day or you're trying to sleep at night, you know, they can be loud. Um, you, you just don't know. I mean, it could be really noisy. Um, you could have a neighbor that ends up, you know, having a dog that's barking all times uh, at different hours or whatever. Um, they, they could just they could disturb you um, if you live here a long term. Um, and so, you know, if you want peace, you know, living in a condo, you just really know. You, you really don't know. And I guess that's true anywhere. But uh, especially for a condo, because they're renting out a lot by Airbnb people who come and go. It's not like you own the house or anything. Uh, and, you know, that can be said true for a place that you rent uh, anywhere. Um, but in a condo, it's kind of like a hotel. So people kind of treat it that way. And so you just don't know who you're going to get and how loud they're going to be or whatever. Uh, and, you know, if you're living here long term, um, again, the, if you want peace, the, you know, that could be a problem. Um, Anyway, that's what I wanted to say about the community. 
Um, the last bad thing I want to bring up, and I also mentioned as a good point, um, is security. So I want to talk about the bad points of security. So security is a good thing, I think, um, you know, to be secure. Uh, you know, you're signing people in um, to keep people here that, you know, supposed to be here or, you know, they are they have connections with somebody that lives here. But um, it can be kind of tedious. Uh, sometimes always having to, you know, go down and check somebody in. Um, you have to sign in all the time and wherever somebody comes um, as compared to like living in a house or, you know, renting an apartment in a part of the city where, you know, they could just come over anytime they want, you know, just knock on the door and come in. Here, it's different. You have to know when they're coming. You have to go down. You have to wait on them. You have to check them in. Um, and so, you know, that can be tedious a little bit. Um, anyway, those are the five good points and the five bad points I wanted to mention about living in a condo since I've been here almost 10 months now, or over 10 months now, almost a year now. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please let me know. Leave them down below. I'll be sure to check them out. Um, you guys have a great day, week, and um, I'll see you some other time in another video.